Hello everybody, my name is Ethan over at Audi Fall River and today I just wanted to show you how to use Audi's MMI virtual cockpit. Let's go. All right, so now we are inside of this beautiful new 2023 Audi A4 looking at the virtual cockpit. I just wanted to show you a few things of how to use this. First, you have this scroll wheel and we are on this first screen all the way to the left. You can scroll through, you see your date and time, your fuel consumption, your short-term memory, which you can reset by holding in this button right here. Go to your long-term memory, which you can do the same thing by resetting it, which I'll do right now actually. You can see all the values completely resetted. Let's go down. Now you can see your energy consumers and right now I have the AC on because it's a cold stormy day here in Fall River. If you go down one more screen here you have your driver assistance. Now this will show you if you're drifting in your lane by kind of lighting up the sides of the screen right here and this pairs great with Audi's adaptive cruise control which this car has. Go down one more screen with me. You have your traffic signs. This feature is currently inactive because no one has bought the car and set it up properly yet, but it's a great feature to have. It shows you when the traffic lights are gonna turn green, your sign information, the speed limit, all that good stuff. All right, let's move over to the next screen using these arrows right here. Just hit the right one and boom. We go over to your media and entertainment controls. If you hit this button right here, you can choose what you wanna listen to. You can go to your media, which is your phone, if you have Apple Music, you know Spotify all your own music that's how you play it you go to your last stations right last stations you play it on the radio favorites FM AM Sirius um, which this car actually has six months free trial which is great um, let's choose the FM here so I got to mute it for copyright reasons but if we scroll through see a station you like let's do 102.9 just hold down on this OK button right here and then you're on that station which is great and this is also great with Audi's Bang & Olsen sound system which this car is also optioned with it sounds crisp clear and amazing let's go over one more screen this is your contact screen. This is where you can call people. It's very simple. You just scroll through here, right? See someone you want to call? Just hit the OK button by pressing in on the scroll wheel. If you hit this menu button, you can see if you have a favorites list set up, that's where all your favorite contacts will be displayed. All right. Um, let's go over to the last screen, which is actually my favorite screen of this whole car, and that is your navigation screen. Now, you can do so many things in this screen, it's unbelievable. If you use your scroll wheel right here, you can zoom in or you can zoom out. Audi is all about making the car yours, which is why this is so configurable. Now, some of the things you can do here are if you hit this menu button once again, you can see, you can go to your last destinations, your favorite destinations, your map orientation. I have it set to the 3D map right now because I think that looks the best, but say you want 2D heading up map. Let's see what that looks like. Hit this back button right here and boom. It's not my cup of tea, but if you like it, Audi has made it an option for you. Now, I'm gonna switch it back to the 3D map just because I like that. Um, now, you have your automatic zoom feature. What this does is if you are driving, right, and you are switched to the navigation screen, if you're taking a turn or coming up on an intersection, it'll actually zoom, up, um, zoom in to make it more visible so you can actually see where you're going. Um, if you want to change it to just the intersections, you can do that. Or if you don't want that feature, you can turn it off right there as well. Let's go down to the map content. What this does is it shows you all of your POIs, your favorite destinations, your, you know, your city models, which is like all the buildings on the map, which is a really nice touch. Um, your landmarks, so you can take the scenic route if you want. Um, but yeah, this screen is great. Let's go back one more time. Now, one of my favorite things, which I've actually left for the last, is this view button right here. If you hit that, it makes your gauges nice and big so you can truly see, you know, your RPMs, you know, all that good information. But you don't lose any of the other information you had when the gauges were small. And that's what I love so much about this feature. Let's move over to the right side of the steering wheel here. You can see if it's nice and cold out, you have your heated steering wheel. This thing heats up fast and it's nice and toasty. I love it. This is your foam 
button. What this does is if somebody's calling you and you want to pick up, you just hit that button right there, it'll answer. And if you want to hang up on someone, you hit that button again. I like that Audi's made what usually is two buttons into one, makes it a lot easier. Over here, you can see you have some media controls. You have skip track, go back a track, your little volume scroll wheel here. And if you push in on this scroll wheel, it'll mute or unmute the audio. Now, one of my other favorite features of this car is the Audi Assistant, which actually works unlike most manufacturers. And I'll show you right here. Just hit this button. Set route to Audi Fall River. Searching for destinations. One moment, please. You can now. Would you like to start route guidance now? Yes. I have started route guidance. As you can see, it did it perfectly first try and it did it pretty quickly too. Now, one of the last features I'd like to show you is this screen up here. This will come up when you have a destination set and all it does is it's this little bar here. When this little bar gets smaller and smaller and smaller, that means that you're really coming up close on your turn so you can see where you truly have to go. Now turn right. My name is Ethan and that was how to use Audi's MMI virtual cockpit. Thank you for watching.